What it retails for? Okay, I love it. You look nice today. I'll be back in two weeks. I'll hit you. There is certain people they have a budget for Rolex, and there is some people that have a budget for other brands. But other brands also is good, and I recommend other brands to be honest with you. I have here the most popular model of Omega. This one is the Speedmaster. This one was the first watch to go on the moon. I have the vintage one. We call it the Speedmaster Reduce. Why is reduce? Because the case size is a 39 millimeter instead of the 42 millimeter on the newer one. You can see here why this watch is beautiful and why I recommend it so much is just because you can see the patina of the dial. This watch is from 1999. There is, I think, 860 uh, parts in the movement. It's very thin. I, as you can tell, this is a manual wine, but people, they love it because it's a sport model and also it's very vintage to have it. Uh, this is the Reduce, so it's less expensive. I'm gonna say it's around like $3,000. And also you have this one, so this one is a tomb. Uh, the first watch that went to the space, it was in uh, 1965, maybe I'm wrong, but you can correct me on the comments. This one is a 42 millimeter. The case is very thin. It's a vintage one because you have a patina on the dial and look at this patina. You see the stick getting yellow over the time. That's why you make the watch so beautiful and you have a new story behind it. That's why I like personally vintage watches. How I can tell it's the vintage one? Just because of the patina and also the case size. For me, it's like one of the stylish pieces that I'm selling every single day at the store. Me, I love Omega to be honest. I would love to wear Omega myself. So let me know on your comments which one you're gonna go for. The vintage one, the reduced, the Speedmaster Moonface or the newer one. By the way, I have it with the box and the papers. That's crazy. Let me open this. I think the box is bigger than me and it's heavier, whatever. This is the box of the Speedmaster. I'm sure you cannot go in the moon with this box because it's very big. But just to tell you, look at this. This is how the watch comes. And also you have a loop here. Do you see that? I love it. It's so good for a present. Look, look at this box. You can put it in your, in your living room, you know? So this is the box of the Omega. It's like huge. I think it's bigger than the watch, you know? This is the box of this watch. Can you imagine that? This is the newer box, but the vintage box is like smaller like this. I don't have it. How much you want for it? Talk to us. Um, no, you talk to me talk first. To us. Please, talk to me Hi. first. What it retails for? 6900 plus tax. We have a beautiful uh, love bracelet. You have the receipt, everything. Okay, you bought it like not long time ago. Uh, uh, uh. Which size is it? It's 20. So 20 is for men. Uh, how much you want for it? We like 55. 55 is a little bit high because I bought one from someone and I pay uh, 35 to be honest. How much? 35. 35? Yeah. That's too low. You will keep it? Yeah. Okay, I mean, I give you my, my best, you know, I'm trying oh, to work with it. Or if you want, I can do a trade, whatever you want. But thank you. Where are you from? Nice to meet you. Colombia. Colombia. You have one. Yeah, why, have you, one. why you want to well, sell one? one. And you want to sell it? Yeah, because I want to invest, the money invest in something else. Something. I got you. Not jewelry. Which one? Uh, real estate? <laughs> no, and so some crypto. Pleasure so to meet you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. Enjoy your day. So I didn't buy the Cartier bracelet at uh, 55. It's just because, first of all, it's a bracelet. It's Cartier. And also, we have uh, better prices on Cartier if you want it new. At this point, it's not a watch because they lose value. I was willing to pay uh, 35 because it has original papers. That's very important because there is a lot of... Uh, replicate uh, into the market. You know, sometimes I'm dealing with Rolexes, sometimes I'm dealing with Cartier. Uh, most of the time, we're buying those watches. This is the master of Cartier. This one is the most popular model. They're from the 80s. So when we buy them, they are not in a good shape. I mean, everything is original on the watch, but the only thing we need to do, they are not like gold, they are plated gold. So we're gonna replate it gold in order to sell it because we cannot sell it like this. Did you see the condition of the shops? It's just horrible. Whatever. So I'm going to open the case myself. I learned how to do it. You always give them a second chance to renew, to re relieve. So I have the movement here. The dial is like just perfect because it's very white. Sometimes I get a dial that they are like yellow inch with the time, but the watch is in pretty good condition. I'm just going to take off the straps because I don't need it and buy a new one. So I have four screws here that I'm gonna keep in the plastic in order to not like lose them because it's, it's impossible to replace those, those screws. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit what I'm gonna do with those watches. I'm gonna put them in the ultrasound. I'm going to dip them 
inside the walls, if we call it this way. And also, I don't know if you see that, but there is scratches on the crystal. So I need to remove the scratches. I mean, I would love to keep the original crystal, so I'm gonna try my best. I got a call for what I was passing by when I took my lunch and I saw it someone had it and the girl wanted like a Rolex a day just fully bezel with Jubilee bracelet blue dial but I think it's impossible for me to find the blue dial because I was searching like for one one week and a half in the street the blue dial even on the roofs and everything and I just asked her if she wanted an alternative about the dial and she told me oh maybe black dial would be nice so I know why is it I'm gonna ask the price take pictures see if the price is good and send it to my clients hi what's up oh it's here can i see this watch brand new. this is brand new that was 14, yeah. maybe this one is gonna be less well, 2020 it's pre-owned so that yeah be it's full length so that's good for the client. I have the papers and I'm gonna add the box. I have boxes. That one is 11.8. So this one is 11.8. Just to tell you the different prices on the pre-owned and the new ones. And it's the same watch, guys. So I'm sending the picture to my clients. I'm gonna send her the back also. Thank you, beautiful girl. No problem. So I send the information to my client and we'll see. So today we are with Ice Van Luz. He's going to play this case for us, yeah. So show us how you do it. The name of the place is Laser Boots. They polish, they laser, they ultrasound, and they dip inside the gold, and they fix jewelry also. And I come here in order to fix my watches. So now he's polishing the case in order to dip it inside the ultra sun and after we're gonna plate it gold. Here you see there is a scratch but we cannot take it off. So you're doing it now? Yeah, one. He's getting into bubbles now. So now we're waiting that he's gonna polish more the pieces and after we're gonna do the other process of the watch. Wow, Everything is a process. Down. How much? Yeah, I asked him six, but you could give it all for not bad. I like the shape of the bracelet. I think six is not a bad price, but I will go down on the price for sure. The dial is not original, I can tell. Look, you see the print of the dial? Okay, so I just got the polishing back here, and I'm gonna put it back together. Ta-da! The watch is ready. I just need to find a nice strap. Azad! Yes, baby. How are you? Morning to you. You're on camera today. Oh, hello. You like it? I need strap. It's very small. I know, but you have everything for me, I know that. You look nice today. Thank you. Always. You forget about me, you don't come visit I don't me. forget, never. You're the best here. You're my favorite in the block. Give me something pop up. Problem is the size. Oh, yeah, I like this one. The blue, I love the blue. That's perfecto. Hallelujah. Can Alligator. I say perfecto? Of course you can say perfecto. It matches your nails. Ah, it's matching also you. Yeah. <laughs> matches yeah. the hand, matches the crown. It's nice, guys. What do you think about that? How much I own you? This one, $30. Oh, yeah, yeah, I really don't know. See ya. You see, I transformed the watch. It's nice, no? Hey, how are you? I'm Julia. Nice to meet you. I follow you on uh, I follow you on Instagram. I love your content. You too. You're doing. You're killing it. Where, which building are you at? Uh, 36 West. I'll be back in two weeks. I'll hit you up on Instagram. This is Lewis, one of my sales guys. Hi, how are you? 
Okay, let's put back this watch before we go to Saks. Look, this watch doesn't look beautiful. Yeah, I like the rose with the blue a lot. It's nice. So this is the watch. I just renovated this watch. I love it. Now it's ready to sell and it's matching my outfit. It took me a while, but I'm very happy with the results. Guys, I think you should subscribe to my channel and I see you next Friday at 1 p.m. Don't forget.